Hello everyone, I am Dr. Manasa Amar from JJ Medical College, Davangere, Karnataka. I'll be presenting a paper on MRI of brain in children with developmental delay. Introduction Development is a continuous process which begins from conception and continues throughout an individual's life. Developmental delay denotes significant delay in one or more developmental domains. It poses a social stigmata upon the child and family. Developmental delay has an estimated prevalence of 1 to 3 percent worldwide. Developmental delay needs careful evaluation to ascertain the etiology, which is evident in around 50 to 70 percent of cases. MRI has evolved over years as one of the most sensitive modality in imaging a child with developmental delay. Around 60% of the children with developmental delay have an abnormal MRI. Further, MRI provides detailed anatomical evaluation of the brain and also provides information on the extent of myelination and its associated microstructural changes. Identifying the involved brain structures and associated morphological abnormalities guides the clinician in further evaluation of the child, which helps them in arriving at diagnosis and appropriately categorize the patient, which has significant impact on patient management. Aims and objectives of our study is to identify the spectrum of abnormalities in brain MRI in children with developmental delay and categorize the morphological abnormalities based on age, brain structures, and etiological distribution. Materials and methods used. This is a prospective descriptive study involving a sample size of 25 children who presented with developmental delay and were referred to our department for brain MRI. Infants and younger children were sedated. Older children, when cooperative, were imaged unsedated. The patients were placed in supine position and head was placed securely in receiver coil. Brain MRI was used uh, was done using 1.5 Tesla MR unit of Philips Achiva using seizure protocol. The sequences used were T2 axial and coronal, T1 3D MPR sequence, flare axial, DW and ADC mapping, and GRE sequences. T1 IR and flare oblique coronal were used when required. Results of the study. Our study involved the evaluation of 25 children between 6 months and 10 years of age who presented with developmental delay. The study revealed a significant number of children who presented with the developmental delay uh, were between the age group of 3 to 5 years. That is, 10 children were in the age group of 3 to 5 years among the total 25 children who were, who were studied, followed by 6 children were in the age group of uh, 6 to 8 years and 5 children were in the age group of 1 to 2 years. The other subgroups were lesser number of children, that is 4 in the age group less than 1 year and uh, 1 child was between the age group of 9 to 10 years. Further, the association of positive MRI findings prevailing among the various age groups was studied. It was noted that among the 10 children in the age group of 3 to 5 years, 7 had abnormal brain MRI findings. And among the 6 children in the age group of 6 to 8 years, 4 had abnormal MRI findings. And it was also noted that uh, among the 4 children, uh, four uh, children among the five total in the age group of one to four, two years had abnormal brain MRI uh, findings. Um, it was concluded that there was significant association between the most common age of presentation and abnormal brain findings. That is, most common age of presentation was three to five years, where a total of 10 children were present, and uh, among which five had abnormal brain MRI findings. Sorry, seven of them had abnormal, out of 10, seven of them had abnormal brain MRI findings. The p-value in that study was less than 0 0.05, um, which, uh, which suggested there was significant uh, association between the most common age of uh, presentation and abnormal brain MR findings. 
Next, coming to involved brain structures, the MR images were evaluated in detail with regard to various structures involved in patients presenting with developmental delay. The various structures studied were ventricles, corpus callosum, gray matter, white matter, basal ganglia, limbic system, brainstem, cerebellum, and cranial vault. These were uh, evaluated systematically based on the reference study of Vid Vidjar et al. Our study revealed abnormalities of white matter in 50% of the patients. Ventricular abnormalities were seen in 37%. Corpus callosum was involved in 24%. Uh, gray matter abnormality was seen in 13%. Limbic system, basal ganglia, brainstem, and cranial vault were involved in 3, 5, 2, and 4% respectively. Other structures like vermis, cerebellar, tonsil, subarachnoid, spaces and cisterns and choroid plexus were noted in a few other cases, that is 10% of other cases. Next, uh, the various MRI findings and the diagnosis were categorized based on the um, reference study design of William et al. The prevalence of abnormal MRI findings was about 78% among the total evaluated children. Abnormal uh, among the children with abnormal brain MRI findings, 11 had non-specific imaging findings. Etiological categorization revealed that there was 78% of the children, that is 19 among 25, had abnormal MRI findings and 22%, that is 6 cases, had uh, normal MRI brain findings. Out of the abnormal, 10 cases, that is 50%, had uh, findings consistent with neurovascular diseases, most commonly hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. The proportion of children with congenital and developmental disorders um, was 12%. Neoplastic and cystic, neoplas uh, cystic lesions was around 3%. And non-specific imaging findings were seen in about 11% of cases. 1%. Sorry, one case that is two percent of of the total showed combined or multifactorial multifactorial etiology. These are the uh, images of few representative cases. Axial T two weighted MR images of five year old late preterm male child who presented with seizures and developmental delay showed paucity of bilateral periocipital parieto occipital periventricular white matter with gyral thinning. Um, that is periventricular leukomalacia in, uh, in a case of hypoxic ischemic injury. This is a sagittal T1 weighted MR image of a 10 year old preterm male child who presented with developmental delay. Uh, there was thinning of the posterior body and splenium of corpus callosum, which was a sequelae of hypoxic ischemic injury. The child also had features of PVL not seen uh, in this section. Uh, this is the axial T2-weighted image of two-year-old preterm male child who was a known case of congenital heart disease was who came with complaints of developmental delay. The image shows prominent sulci, ventricles, and uh, th thinning of uh, cerebral hemispheres, um, thinning of cortex, uh, a case of cerebral atrophy. This is axial T2-weighted and T1-weighted Im MR images of four-year-old term female child with developmental delay. There is a CSF signal intensity noted in the floor of third ventricles. The lesion showed no evidence of diffusion restriction. It was a case of arachnoid cyst. Axial T2-weighted MR image of one-year-old term child with developmental delay, seizures, and hypotonia. Uh, the, Im uh, the image shows hyperintensity in bilateral lentiform Nucleus, anterolateral thalami, and corona radiata feature suggestive of profound hypoxic, hypoxic injury, hypoxic ischemic injury. Discussion The study results of our study were compared with the reference studies, such as um, um, the studies by Ali et al., Kaul et al., Vijja et al., and Woman et al. The proportion of children with normal and abnormal brain MRI findings in our study was 22 and 78% respectively. This was compared with the reference studies which I mentioned. Um, 
it uh, the results were comparable to all the studies that is ali et al kaul et al and vicha et al however the study by momen et al showed a larger number of children with normal uh, brain mri findings that is in our study it was 22% had normal whereas in this study the 41% uh, was normal this could partly be because of relaxation of the upper age limit in the study of momen momen et al where uh, the reference uh, age group was 2 months to 15 years and larger sample size that is uh, 580 n equals 580 was used in that study now comparison of involved brain structures various involved brain structures uh, were compared with the results of other studies which i mentioned earlier our study showed abnormalities of white matter in 50% of uh, children corpus callosum was involved in 24% ventricles involved in 30% 37% gray matter at 13% in a study by ali et al white matter was involved in 58% and corpus callosum was involved in 60% which were comparable to the study results of our studies in another study by vidja et al the white matter abnormalities was seen in uh, 26% of the children the corpus callosum was involved in 44% ventricles in 48% our study showed increased proportion of children in uh, white matter abnormality here only 26% was involved but our study showed 50% involved this could be because of smaller sample size of our uh, uh, study design comparison of various categories is uh, next the categories based on morphological abnormalities on mri were compared with the um, reference studies which i mentioned in uh, in the study by ali et al most common abnormality encountered was neurovascular diseases because of hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy our study also uh, uh, showed most common uh, Uh, abnormality being hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy uh, with the percentage of 50% uh, this uh, um, percentage and the other categories were comparable with in both studies in study by momen et al the most common categorical abnormality was again neurovascular disease with like hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy which accounted for about 38% which was comparable to our dis- our uh, study percentage of 50% other variables also uh, were comparable to our uh, current study design in conclusion the current study was undertaken to evaluate the spectrum of abnormality on mri in children with uh, developmental delay out of 25 children evaluated in our study 9 were in the age group of 3 to 5 years further these children had an associated abnormal mri in most cases around 78% of the children had an abnormal mri in our study the various involved brain structures were also studied systematically white matter was involved in 50% ventricles in 37% and corpus callosum in 24% of cases the various mr abnormalities were categorized and category of neurovascular diseases due to hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy showed the highest proportion of children in our study with 50% that too with an increase incidence in the age group of 3 to 5 years most of the cases were sequelae to as i mentioned earlier was sequelae to hypoxic ischemic injury mri has good sensitivity in diagnosing various disorders associated with developmental delay careful evaluation of the mri helps identifying most probable etiology in most if not of all cases additional clinical variables also add on to the diagnostic accuracy of mri these are my references thank you